Hi, I'm the Red Shirt Lady. Join me as I make a salted caramel apple crunch pie. I'm going to make two kinds, one with a nut topping, if that's what you like, and one with a crumb topping. Now because we don't really want pesticide or wax on our apples, I'm gonna spray all of them, but I'll just show you these two real good with a good produce wash. I'm supposed to rub it in for 30 seconds and then use my veggie scrub cloth, which I love, to rub all that wax off. And then I just rip. Now that I have my six cups of apples, I am going to add a tablespoon of lemon juice and a fourth cup of all-purpose flour I use unbleached and a half cup of white sugar I use turbinado just because it's also unbleached. I don't really like bleach in my food. And then we're going to make sure we toss all of this. I'm just going to do it with my hands. Make sure all those apples are separated. That we coat everything really well. And then we're just going to pour it in the pie plate. That already has the baked pastry shell. Well, not baked, but... Um, rolled out pastry shell, which my recipe is in another video that I'll link below. And then we want to cover this so the apples don't dry out because we're gonna put the caramel on later. And we also don't want the crust to get too brown. We're gonna bake this for half an hour at 375 and just loosely cover it. I have a silicone lid that can go in the oven, but you could also loosely cover it with foil. And we're gonna start with a cast iron skillet because that is the best for even heat distribution. And we're gonna put a cup of sugar in there, just dry, like that. I'm gonna kinda get it evenly coated. I'm gonna get that started on like a medium heat. Okay, so I'm gonna watch that closely. When it starts to melt on its own, because we're just caramelizing sugar here, then we'll start stirring it, but we're not really gonna touch it until then, but we want it to get to a liquid state, which it will do on its own. 